Hello, this is Kitten from The Kitten and the Goat. I help people who knit, especially beginner knitters, to cut through all the gobbledygook that is holding them back and get them actually making things and enjoying their hobby. This little video is part of our monthly virtual knitting club. Each month our members get a free pattern along with a video walkthrough of any tricky bits and a video that aims to explain or debunk a myth, technique or trend. If you're new to us, we would love to have you on our email list too. There's a link in the description to our website where you can drop your email address. Today I'm walking you through our little fish shape. It's a simple pattern to construct but really versatile and you can use it for all sorts of patterns. I've been using this pattern for donkey's years and rewritten it many times. It's been so long I can't even remember where I came it across it originally but I hope you get as much use out of it as I have done. Down a little alley in the heart of Kendall Town is a tiny independent yard shop. Welcome to the wonderful world of the kitten and the goat. We're going to work off this shape pattern for our blanket. It's a very simple pattern but there are a couple of things you need to be aware of. I've cast on six stitches in double knitting acrylic yarn and these are four millimeter needles. On the first stitch of every row we're going to slip it purlwise and then on an increase row we're going to knit into the front and then we're going to knit into the back so you've increased then we're going to knit to the last two we're going to knit into the front and then into the back of the second to last and we're going to knit the very last. When we're working back we're going to slip the first stitch purlwise and we're going to do plain knitting to, across and we're going to work like that until we have 20 stitches on the needle. So I'll do that. We've shaped his nose face shape, slipping the pearl stitch at the front gives a much nicer soft finish to the edge, gives you a much smoother curve. So now we're going to start on the shape for the fin. We're still going to slip the first stitch purl wise we're going to knit four and then we're going to decrease by knitting two together through the back of the loop so you put your stitches down the middle don't bring it out that way take it out that way knit two together then we're going to knit along one two three four five work two when you get to where the shaping for his fin the other side is you're going to knit two together through the front of the loop. What it does is it puts the cast off stitches in a different direction to slope up. You'll see what I mean when I've worked the rest of his body. I'll do that and then I'll show you his fin pattern. Here's our little fish where we've got to. You see how you've got a pattern each side that kind of outlines the fin. That's what you get from doing the two different styles of decreases. And because I've decreased in the middle there, you get a lovely smooth band that runs around the outside. 
I think this is a fabulous pattern. It's so simple and so effective. So we're going to wait. I've done a few stitches here, a few rows here. We're going to work the tail up. The tail is worked in exactly the same way as you shape for his nose. So I'm going to put the tail on him, cast off, and then we'll show you how he looks with more than one fish. Here's our finished fish. Here's one I made earlier. When you put them together, they fit nose to tail like that. And the next one, tail to tail. And they look, it looks lovely as a throw across the bottom of the bed with this wavy line of the fishes. It looks absolutely super. So that's the video for making your fish shapes. Do drop me a line and show me what you make with your shapes, whether you make a blanket or a cushion or just little coasters with it.